<laughs> so, uh, uh, we study the uh, uh, transmission loss uh, that induced by a uh, general partition that we modeled as having mass and the stiffness and the damping. And the result is expressed by the uh, graph that describes how much transmission loss we have according to the frequency and that generally look like this 6 dB per octave type uh, graph that essentially means that if you increase the mass twice or frequency then the transmission loss increases 6 dB. And a similar behavior occurs over here. And in this region, we call damping is pretty much dominated. This region we call mass controlled, or the region where mass law uh, dominate. And this region we call stiffness controlled region. OK? That's it. And another important concept is, of course, the frequency that we call blocked frequency. It certainly has some meaning. 132 divided by m. m is the mass per unit area. Uh, Okay, therefore, the, for, to design the material, design the partition, first step, we have to see where the natural frequency is, and we have to figure out whether or not we can use mass law or stiffness law and so on, right? And then use the concept of 6 dB per octave. Times. Okay, let me uh, address uh, some other case where we have a the wave propagating in this direction obliquely incident to the flat surface of this continuity. And I define this is incident angle, theta i. Okay? And then what we can expect is in certain time later, the wave front would go up to here, right? As illustrated over here, okay? And then, due to the discontinuity over here, this wave will go uh, like this. <coughs> Let me call this is a theta r. Okay. And the wave would transmit it in this direction. And I we define this is a transmitted angle theta t. And we call this is a medium zero and a medium one. Okay. And note that this vector certainly indicates the direction of wave propagation, right? Direction of wave propagation.
as well as how many waves per unit length that wave has. That is what? Wave number. So let's call that is wave number of instant wave. Okay? Wave number indicates the direction as well as number of waves per unit length. Okay. Ki, for example, that is Ki vector divided by Ki magnitude. Right? Oh, sorry. That is that is the direction of wave propagation, right? This is the direction of wave propagation. And Ki magnitude is the wave number, that is number of waves per unit length. Okay. So graph is very complicated compared with what we have. In this case, you have instant wave and reflected wave and transmitted. We have instant wire, reflected wire, and transmitted wire. Later on, we will expand the, what we observed over here when we have general structure, right, that has wave coming over here, reflected and transmitted. That's what we want, you know, essentially. Right? And uh, before we tackle this rather practically valuable case, we would like to first investigate the simpler case to understand more fundamental things. Okay? But, but, we can intuitively say that the transmission loss of this kind of general case would be somehow similar with what we observed. The only difference would be what is S in this case? And what is RD in this case? Okay, keeping that kind of intu intuition in our mind, let's look at what is happening over here. Okay, the first the thing we want to try is the way to express this kind of oblique wave mathematically because once we once we establish once we establish the rational way of expressing what's happening physically then we use mathematical rational to explore the unknown physical phenomena right that's what we normally take so how to express this pi 